Hey you guys, my name is Carla and I want to share my story with my spinal fusion. I'm just going to give a quick overview on how I got my um, vertebrae fused and my recovery. And now I am waiting for Thursday to get here to remove my rods, which makes me happy. Okay, so a year and eight months ago, I was in a car accident and unfortunately I fractured L1 and L2. So I had to be rushed into surgery. It was the most painful thing ever before my surgery and after were extremely painful. But after my car accident, I could not even move. I could not get up from the from my car seat. Um, the ambulance had to pick me up and they put me in their bed. I don't know how they did it because they did an amazing job. They didn't even move my spine. It was I don't know. It was amazing. Um, so I was in a lot of pain. Uh, one of my vertebrae was crushing into my spinal cord and that was I believe that was what was causing the main pain that I was feeling but I suffered a concussion also but it was a minor one fortunately um, but that wasn't I mean that really was nothing compared to my vertebrae fractured so now it's been a year and eight months and Okay, now let me go back to right after my surgery. I, well, I was in bed in the hospital for like four days, four more days, four nights. And I really didn't feel much because I was on so many drugs and medications. One of them, my initial drug, they gave me morphine and really, like, I would feel that through when, as soon as they injected it, that I would feel it through my veins. It was crazy. The feeling of pain would just be gone in like seconds. It, it's really impressing. Um, but um, and then after that, I think they only gave me that for the first two days. And then I don't know what other drugs they would give me, and I was just really bad. I was really nauseous. I, I couldn't eat. My stomach was so bloated due to my surgery. I don't even know why. That's weird. I guess that's just how the body reacts. I don't know. Um, but so, yeah. So yeah. So my my first month was just like hell. Just did I already say this? Trying to walk just sucked. Like it was just pain. I couldn't get up or anything from my bed or whatever. Um, I couldn't drive, I think, for like a month. I don't know how much. And then I missed out a lot on school, which uh, you guys probably don't want to hear about that. Um, so, yeah, it affected me, like, on a lot of levels, like, physically, mentally, emotionally. When uh, I was just traumatized on the cr about the crash, like, I couldn't, I didn't even want to get back in car in a car again. Like I was so terrified for I must say for a while I was in denial. I, I couldn't accept that that had happened to me. I didn't I would just think like no this can be true like and just it's not real, you know? Until well I went through a grieving process as you guys might know about or not. But yeah the denial I, it was big. And um so after a whole, it took me like a whole year to get, to kind of get over it mentally, um, which psychologically, it affected me so much that whenever we would get into situations as to how our crash happened, I would panic. Whenever we would cross light intersections, um, I would panic, like I would break a sweat, my hands would sweat, my... You don't know. You don't want to know what to it. <laughs> no, my armpits would sweat. Like it was crazy. Like, and my heart would stop 
start beating like super fast like I can't even explain to you I don't even, I don't even like want to think about it because it was tough time it was a tough time so yeah oh and another thing that affected me so much was that I could not work out and I was before my car wreck I was in the best shape of my life ever and to just like lose my lean body mass and I lost so much fat too I was like so thin I would get depressed because I could see like my ribs I had like no fat like my um, my calves I didn't even have calves it was horrible from all that time that I was in bed and depressed and whatnot and crying because I couldn't do anything it was just the worst pain ever. I couldn't even, I couldn't go anywhere because I couldn't get in the car seat. I couldn't be sitting up for like five minutes because it was like hell feeling the pain. So yeah, it was just overall like really bad. And I don't know if people gener generally um, experience that feeling as I did. Um, I don't know if mine was due to the surgery partly like my pain level or more of the or more of my bones trying to heal but no another thing also I for, I don't want to forget uh, my muscles those muscles like no it, it has taken forever to heal I must say like for a long time after my surgeon told me okay I can bend over and and do light stuff when I would try to get back up my back just wouldn't even respond like I would stay just like bent because my muscles were just so weak I guess and it would hurt like a lot it just was very it was a miserable pain um so yeah skipping to now I really feel somewhat of pain I don't know, I feel like my muscles never got to the same level of strength as before due to the lack of movement, I'm thinking. The the lack of movement from my fusion, not that I don't move or walk or whatever. Um, so yeah, I feel, I think that's what, that's what I, that's what's happening right now. Because I feel like I'm weak on my balance. Like, I don't know. I guess that's how what people feel. Like, you know, <laughs> when you feel you could fall all the time. Or, like, that's how I feel. Like, I don't know. There's just certain little things that have to do with your balance. And it, it just affected me on that level. Um, so, yeah. Um, my doctor, he told me I could have my rods removed. It, he usually does it after two years, but since I'm so young or whatever and healthy. <laughs> since I'm young and healthy, um, you know, usually he does, I'm guessing, a spinal fusion on the elderly, you know. So he knows that my bones are fused. Well, actually, I just went to my CAT scan today and, um, so he's gonna find out if my bones are fused, but I'm pretty sure they aren't because, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't be fused. And I'm hoping for the best, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for that and I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know what to expect. I know there's gonna be pain, but it's not gonna, it's not supposed to be a much pain that I was in when I barely put the rods in so hopefully it is that way and my doctor my surgeon told me that um, well it should be a quicker recovery than last time so I am definitely hoping for that and I guess depending on what um, response I get from people from this video I will post um, maybe in the hospital, I don't know. Um, I will post from after my surgery, and I'm a little nervous, but I'm a warrior, you know. 
you know, because we're stronger than men, us women. <laughs> Just kidding. So yeah, I guess thanks for listening to my story. Oh, I forgot to say I'm how old I am. I'm 22. So yeah. Well, when this happened, it was I was I think I was 19. Yeah, cause I had yeah I had just turned 19 and right now I just turned no I was like yeah I was 19 and right now I just turned 22. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If not, then don't let me know. <laughs> just kidding. Well, thanks for watching and add me on Instagram.